my beautiful homies out there and welcome back to my house of mystical embers so for today's video we are going to be doing my boxy charm October unboxing so if you want to know what I got into got in my October boxy charm then please stay tuned my beautiful homies and I would like to say welcome to any new new viewers out there today and I do hope that you decide to become part of my homie family today because we would love to have you here so for today's video we are going to be doing my oxycharm unboxing for the month of October yes so what does everybody think about this whole um the new boxy charm premium because i'm kind of, i don't like the fact that you can't upgrade your base box to premium and and be able to get the lux because i would like to do that i would rather upgrade i would rather upgrade my base box to premium and then every three months three months be able to get my Lux box but the way that they have it set up is just really re in my opinion I'm sorry it's retarded you know why would I have to keep my base box and if I wanted the premium then I have to pay for the base box and the premium in order to be able to get the Lux box I mean in my opinion that's kind of like it's kind of like forcing people to buy two different subscriptions in order to get the biggest one in my opinion, which I don't like that. I mean, when I seen the premium come out, I really, really wanted to upgrade. I wanted to upgrade and just get a premium box every month. I would pay the extra $10 a month to get the premium. And then every three months get the boxy Lux. You know, I would have been completely happy with that. So I really, really hope that they decide to change the subscription options on that because that's the way Ipsy has it set up. I mean, I didn't have to purchase anything additional you know I was able to get both you know and I would pay you know I paid for that and for the new ultimate which is just fine but I, I don't know so enough about that but just let me know what your guys's thoughts are on the whole premium thing are you guys getting the premium or not please let me know I really really wanted to get the premium but I don't want to spend another additional $35 um I mean, and I really would love to get that Natasha Denona palette because I've never had any of her eyeshadow palettes because they're too dang expensive and I can't afford it. So, anyway, enough ranting. Let's break into this Boxy Charm box for the month of October. So, here's the inside of the box. And we have our card, which now. I guess we have we have a little pamphlet that opens up. So this is introducing BoxyCharm 2.0. I like the fact that we can customize and we get to pick and choose um, one item, but I really hope that they would be able to let us customize our Boxy Lux a little bit better. I, I would like to be able to have more options on choice products for Boxy Lux. Because sometimes it's like, I think we have what, two? Do we have two? I think it's two options. I think we I think we were able to get two choices, but I really was not happy with my September Boxy Lux because all the items that I chose that I wanted in my Boxy Lux, I did not get. So, and they still have not, I emailed them about that and they still have not responded to me about about anything like are they going to resend me the products are they going to send me something else no some people did which is amazing you know I'm glad that they you know that they got it but I never re sorry about that guys but my phone is on the fritz again with the whole storage issue I really got to manage my storage better or I just need to get a bigger phone so anyway so I'm not going to get into like a whole long spiel about the whole boxy charm thing since my phone is wanting to be a pain in the ass so 
Anyway, so the first thing that I see in my box is the Dose of Colors Baked Browns. I really wasn't too happy to get this. Um, I did get the spoiler alert about um, me receiving this palette. I was really hoping to get the mauves and I think this is broke. Well, it looks very messy on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I just opened this up. So it looks very messy and I saw product on the outside of this, but I don't see any anything broken. But yeah, so I debated on whether I wanted to put this palette into a giveaway because you know, this is like just a basic brown palette, but on the other hand, I have never got to try, I have never tried Dose of Colors eyeshadows before. So I really wanna give it a go. So I'm gonna keep the palette. Um, it is a cute little travel size palette if I wanted just an everyday look, which is fine. Um, I will do a, I will do a first look, uh, or I will do a try on, a BoxyCharm try on um, with this, which I'm a little behind on those videos. So I do apologize, those videos will be coming out. I will be trying to get those done um, at least throughout the week. Um, that way I could try to get to other content too. So, but these are the colors and it comes with a mirror and it has this little brush. And the brush feels really soft and it's very tiny. This is a very tiny brush. So this might be really good to kind of do more detailed work on the outer corner or the inner corner of your eye. Um, I will do some swatches since I am going to keep it and I am going to swatch every single shadow because I have enough fingers. Oh, and they're very soft. These are really, really soft. And yes, if anybody is wondering, I did, um, I did just film another video previously prior to this. So I'm still wearing the same shirt. I just changed my little headband out. You like my little bat, my little bat headband? I think it's so adorable. I got it at Walmart. I got that and I um, I got a spider. And if you guys haven't seen that video, then I will be sure to link it down below. So, and I always seem to do this wrong, but you guys can see. So here's all five of the colors. Um, they're very powdery and I'm going to show you, I just, and I lightly swatched, lightly swatched these because I did see some videos of some people saying that they were very powdery. So these are very, very soft shadows. People did say that they are very pigmented. They are very blendable and buildable, um, but they are very soft. So you have to go in with a very light hand. So just keep that in mind. But I am excited to get a Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette because I've never tried them before. So I will be um, doing a first look and I will. Go to, I am gonna keep it. I was really, really hoping for the Marvelous Mauves or one of the Berry palettes. Those are like more, more so up my color alley that I really like. I, I like to mix like mauves and berries in with browns and stuff like that to create everyday looks, but oh well, you can't always make everybody happy, right? But congratulations to everybody that did get the palette that they wanted. So the next thing that I have in here is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Strength Plus Moisture Leave-In Mask. So here's this, and I believe I received this, I received this once before. Is this, this is for your hair. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I did receive this once before, but I don't remember if it was Ipsy or FabFitFun or if it was BoxyCharm, but I do remember using this and I did quite enjoy it. So I am kind of happy to get this, even though I really don't, I don't care to get hair care products in my boxes, honestly, because there's a lot of hair care products out there that I cannot use in my hair. 
and um, because I don't, certain hair care products like weigh my hair down and I don't like it. And I did specify on my, um, on my quiz thing, you know, the beauty quiz thing, that I don't want hair care products. So, but still, I will use this because I did enjoy it. It did work well in my hair. So, it's not a total waste. Um, and then the next thing that I have is the Iconic London Lip Plumping Gloss in Love Struck. Now, I will try this out because I've never tried Iconic London's um, lippies before. Not so sure about a plumping gloss, but I am going to swatch this. It just looks really clear. If you can see, it's like in the middle there. It's just clear. There's really no pigment to this whatsoever. So this would probably be something that I would put on underneath. Um, maybe a mat and see how that works. I'm not sure. I will test it out. So don't, don't kill me <laughs> if I'm doing something wrong. I apologize. Um, so the next thing, and this is the thing, this is the thing, this is the thing that I did choose, which was the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm, because I just really didn't need another setting spray with glitter in it. Um, I still have the Seat London setting spray that had like that glitter sheen to it, and I ha honestly, I haven't even used it. So I will be testing out this Glassy Skin Balm. So the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm is an ultra hydrating priming skin balm with a sensational smooth texture that melts into your skin and creates the ultimate glow that lasts throughout the day. How to use. At the last step of skincare routine, apply evenly to the face as needed to achieve dewy and glowing skin. Apply two or three times allows for even longer lasting wear. Wow, that's a lot. I'd probably only just apply it one time. But yes, I would like to have some dewy skin. I want some dewy skin. I want to have that young, youthful glow again. So I will be using this. And, oops. I guess I know I'm not gonna keep this one since I dropped it on the floor. So I have the Luna by Luna. Well, what is it? Well, I guess maybe if I read the card, then I would know what it is. Okay, so this is an eyeliner. Oh, so I might, I might keep it if it's a black. Which I think it's a black. So, this highly pigmented and easy glide pencil eyeliners are perfect to create a full lash line or a playful colored look that lasts all day. Luna eye pencils are available in two gorgeous shades, baby blue and charcoal black. 24 hour wear ensures that after just one application, your look will stay set. So, wow, this retails for 16 bucks? Are you kidding me? $16 for an eyeliner? I mean, and I absolutely love the Urban Decay 24 seven eyeliners. I don't pay $20 for them. I like to get the little sample sizes that come like about this big. Yes, I know I'm cheap. But this says Pegasus, so I'm not exactly sure what color this is, to be honest. Well, it says Luna by Luna After Dark, so I'm really hoping it's black because on the end it has that, but you know, you really can't be too sure because the cap looks looks kind of blue, if you can see that. So if it's blue, I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna use it or not because I mainly only use black eyeliners, but I don't know. This is kind of up in the air on whether this is gonna go into my giveaway box or not. So. We can recap on the prices since my dumb, dumb brain didn't put the prices in when I should have. So let's do a quick recap and then we're gonna get this video finished. So the Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette um, is $32. The 
The Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm is $32. Wow. The Iconic London Lip Plumping Gloss, 26 bucks? Holy shit. I am sorry, but I am not gonna pay no $26 for a freaking lip gloss. I don't care if it's lip plumping or not. $26 is a bit outrageous in my opinion, but I got it in my BoxyCharm, so it was well, my BoxyCharm, cause I can say that my BoxyCharm is well worth it this month. Um, yeah, but no, I, I'm not gonna pay no $26 for, for a lip plumping lip gloss. No. And the, the Briogeo, if I'm even pronouncing that right, is $16. Now this, I will, I, I don't know, I might pay $16 for this. This really, this worked really well in my hair. Um, and this is only two ounces. And it lasted me maybe about a month. So yeah, I might pay $16 for this. I, Maybe, I don't know. It, I, I don't know. I'm kind of up in the air about that. But, and, and of course, you know, I said the, the, this eyeliner is $16 and no, I, I don't think I'm going to pay $16 for a pencil eyeliner. If I had to choose any eyeliner to pay high price for, and that would be the Urban Decay 24 seven, um, eyeliner, because so far those are, that has been one of my go-to eyeliners that's the one that I always tend to reach for I love the formula um, and it, it is lasting so oh, let's see what my total box comes to so the total of my October boxycharm box is so am I overall happy with my box um yes I am happy with the box this month. So I will say yes, yes, yes. I am happy with my box because I really was not that I was not that happy with my with my um with my boxy lux. I just I honestly wasn't. I mean, I'm still going to keep some of the products, but I just I wasn't happy with it. So yes, I am happy with my with my October boxy charm box. So if anybody is new and does not know what BoxyCharm is, which I should have said this at the very beginning, I'm sorry, I'm half-assed backwards. I just have a tendency to be that way because my brain jumps from here and then it jumps to here. So I apologize. I will try to work on my brain functions or I will try to improve my the functioning of my brain <laughs> in the future. Um, but yeah, so... So yeah, so I like my box. Um, so please, if anybody, and see, and I trailed off again, and I just remembered that I was trying to explain to anybody that doesn't know what BoxyCharm is, and here I am trailing off to something else. So so if you don't know what BoxyCharm is, BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription box where you get five full-sized items for $25 because that is the new price that is going up. It was $21, but now it is going up to $25 in the month of November. Um, and they also have an option of upgrading to a boxy Lux, and they also have a new premium box that is $35 if you wish to get that. So if you would like to subscribe to boxy charm, which, um, I do, I'm kind of half and half on, you know, my happiness meter with BoxyCharm. So I'm, I'm kind of like right in the middle. Some months are really good and some months are just really bad, but I haven't given up, I haven't canceled. I'm really hoping that they, they really start improving on, on the beauty quizzes and getting people what it is that they really want in their boxes. So if you want to sign up for BoxyCharm, then I will leave the link down below. Um, and I believe that when you do sign up under a referral, I think each month they have a free, you, you receive like a free makeup item. And I'm not exactly sure what that free makeup item is this month. Um, I apologize if I didn't look into that ahead of time. I have a tendency not to do that anyway. So I will work on my unboxing and proving skills. So, so yeah. So, um, what did you all get in your BoxyCharm October box? I would love to know, uh, were you happy with it? Were you not happy with it? 
leave me a comment and let me know. And I hope that everybody is having a magical, mystical, and wonderful day. And please, if you are new, I do hope that you consider becoming part of my homely family today and be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and be sure to hit the little bell notification up at, up at the top so you can be notified of any future video content that I put out. I also do giveaways and I will be trying to do them more often. I will be having a giveaway for Thanksgiving in the month of November so be sure to be on the lookout for an upcoming video on the details of that at the end of October. So. Please keep the embers of love and happiness burning because we all know that the world needs more love and happiness. So until next time, my beautiful homies, bye.